Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Tuesday, December the 8th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Behold, the Lord comes to save us. O come, let us worship him. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Come, O Lord, and do not delay. Loosen the bonds of your people, Israel. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you now say to my soul, Flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked. Fire and sulfur and a scorching wind shall be their portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. Come, O Lord, and do not delay. Loosen the bonds of your people, Israel. Our Old Testament reading today is from Isaiah chapters 24 and 25. They lift up their voices, they sing for joy over the majesty of the Lord they shout from the west. Therefore in the east give glory to the Lord, in the coastlands of the sea give glory to the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. From the ends of the earth we hear songs of praise, of glory to the righteous one. But I say, waste away, I waste away, woe is me. For the traitors have betrayed with betrayal the traitors have betrayed. Terror and the pit and the snare are upon you, O inhabitant of the earth. He who flees at the sound of the terror shall fall into the pit, and he who climbs out of the pit shall be caught in the snare. For the windows of heaven are opened, and the foundations of the earth tremble. The earth is utterly broken, the earth is split apart, the earth is violently shaken. The earth staggers like a drunken man, it sways like a hut. Its transgression lies heavy upon it and it falls and will not rise again. On that day the Lord will punish the host of heaven, in heaven and the kings of the earth on the earth. They will be gathered together as prisoners in a pit. They will be shut up in a prison, and after many days they will be punished. Then the moon will be confounded and the sun ashamed. For the Lord of hosts reigns on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, and his glory will be before his elders. O Lord, you are my God, I will exalt you, I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful and sure. For you have made the city a heap, the fortified city a ruin. The foreigner's palace is a city no more, it will never be rebuilt. Therefore strong peoples will glorify you, cities of ruthless nations will fear you. For you have been a stronghold to the poor, a stronghold to the needy in his distress a shelter from the storm and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm against a wall, like heat in a dry place. You subdue the noise of the foreigners as heat by the shade of a cloud, so the song of the ruthless is put down. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all the peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord is spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, and Moab shall be trampled down in his place, as straw is trampled down in a dunghill. And he will spread out his hands in the midst of it, as a swimmer spreads his hands out to swim. But the Lord will lay low his pompous pride together with the skill of his hands, and the high fortifications of his walls he will bring down, lay low, 
and cast to the ground, to the dust. Our writing this morning is from C.F.W. Walther, the first president of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, from his synodical presidential address in 1848. Who then has the power in the kingdom? It is Jesus Christ alone. He declares this of himself. He says, I am a king, I am the good shepherd. One is your master, even Christ. The apostle calls him the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth in all, but which by which means Christ exercises the power in his church, though he has withdrawn his visible presence from it and sat down on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, is clearly shown by the last declaration with which he parted from his disciples. All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Hence his word, accompanied and sealed by the holy sacraments, is the means whereby Christ exercises power in his kingdom. This is the right scepter with which he rules his people. This is the rod and staff with which he feeds his flock. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we praise your fathomless mercy with which you take pity on sinful men. All the prophets and apostles preach this to us in your holy word. Let our hope not be put to shame when we pray to you for all who suffer at this time. For behold, the evil foe has become mighty, and the great ones of this world rule often with unrighteousness. O God, who in former times caused your saints to overcome injustice, strengthen also today all who stand in need of your help. Grant that all prisoners of war, held as slaves and sacrifices of earthly wrath, may return to their home. Stand by all refugees and homeless people and be their justice. Be a father to the widows and orphans with your strong protection. Go through bars and fences to those who are imprisoned for the sake of your name. Strengthen them for a good witness, and let them not waver in the confession of your name. Teach us through their example and the example of so many holy martyrs to be ever watchful of the confession of your son's name. Let us not be put to shame when the evil foe lays his hand on us. But if it is your will that we be persecuted for confessing Jesus as our Lord and only Savior, then support us in your grace that we may withstand all trials and grant us peaceful rest. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, in holy baptism, you anointed us with holy chrism and healed us of all sin making us little Christs who bear in our body your Son, our Savior. Continue to strengthen us by your Holy Spirit, so that we may embody Christ in the world through our words and actions. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.